So the applications for single cell uh, transcriptomics are wide and you, you know about them. I think most of it, I mean, it has been a lot of cell type identification in different model systems. Um, there's of course comparison between health and disease states. Um, people study human variation. Uh, and also we already heard, I mean, some of you were talking about that you have model, uh, models such as organoids and we, had, we heard the iPS cells. And I don't know if anyone was uh, working with any different, um, more rare model systems, but I think we see that more and more in the applications that we get to the facility. So the applications are, are wide and, uh, and also developing, I think, which is fun. Um, so in our facility, um, we basically run, the pro run single cell projects from the beginning to the end. Um, we, we start by having um, discussions with the use, the, the, our customers that contact us for an experiment. And then we try to help them with the experimental design of the project. Um, and we also uh, encourage them to, to talk to, for example, INBIS, the National Bioinformatic Infrastructure, uh, if they have more complicated uh, uh, designs and questions. Um, but the user, do you see my pointer? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, thank you. So the user uh, isolate the tissues themselves and also dissociate the cells or the nuclei, whatever they are doing. And here we can come in and help with um, quality control prior to the experiment. So if it's, a, if it's an experiment they run with us, we want to make sure that they have a good uh, cell suspension before we start the experiment. So they are welcome uh, to us and we will uh, QC the cell suspension with them in the microscope. And we look for things such as uh, viability, of course, uh, we want high viability of the cells, more than 80%. Uh, the, cell, the suspensions should be nice and clean and free of debris. And of course, there should be no aggregations or cell clumps. Um, and in general, we try to, uh, I mean, emphasize that they have to be uh, as quick as they can when, when uh, dissociating the cells, uh, but also e extremely gentle. Uh, using like gentle uh, enzyme treatments and gentle handling. So the cells are happy and uh, there is no ambient uh, RNA in the suspension. Um, and then we take over uh, with the single cell isolation, depending on what uh, method we are running. Um, and we build, the, we do the cDNA, we build the libraries and, uh, and then eventually we uh, send the libraries uh, for sequencing and we send most of our libraries to NGI in Stockholm. Uh, and then the data is, the sequencing data is returned to us. And uh, then um, Anastasios will run the individual pipelines and then we submit the uh, annotation. Um, and I mentioned the, the single cell isolation. And I, this is um, uh, a, um, a picture from uh, a recent um, review. And there's an older version as well, but I think it very nicely illustrates uh, how the single cell RNA uh, sequencing field have developed. So the first uh, uh, single cell isolations were manual. Of course, they were picking either like, like with a glass pipette or a micro manipulator, picking individual cells of the developing embryo. Uh, and I think the first um, uh, manuscripts or papers had the maybe like eight, 10 cells. Uh, but then there is a the development of uh, fact sorting cells, so you can increase a little bit. And with the uh, integrated uh, fluid circuits, like the fluidime instruments that I had on my first slide, you could actually capture cells um, with microfluidics. Then there, has, there was an improvement with liquid, hand, with liquid handling robots that we use a lot in our facility. Uh, then came the nano droplets um, that are used in um, in the commercialized uh, versions now by Tenex Genomics and BD Sciences, for example. Uh, and then we have the uh, pico well, so um, basically, I mean, a smaller version of the of um, of a plate-based method. 
and then recently, more recent, the in situ barcoding in even smaller compartments. So this is just like an, an increased uh, throughput of cells um, from, from uh, like tenth of cells to hundred thousands of cells. And then of course, the most recent advance, advancement is the spatial transcriptomics, which are now a couple of different versions. So that is for all for the single cell isolation. And for the library preparation, this is now a little bit old slide, but I think it's still a good illustration of the different methods that are around. Uh, and there are more than these, uh, but it's nice to see what they have in common and what they have, what, what is different between the different um, methods. Um, all of the methods that I know of, they uh, capture the um, mRNA with the oligo-DT primer. And then the primer uh, can include a UMI, so a tag for the transcript and a barcode for the cell. It depends on the, on the, um, on the method. And then there's a second, um, second strand synth synthesis uh, and amplification of the cDNA. And in the library preparation part, uh, there will be a tagmentation um, um, of the library and the selection um, of either the three prime end, the five prime end, or, or for the SMARSEC methods running the full length, and like no selection running um, all, the, all the tagmented parts, basically. Um, So I think, um, okay, let's see. I cannot move forward. No, there we go. Um, 